Bola Ahmed Tunumbu is the national leader of APC. So the story out there is that why the issues are ongoing all over the nation and this has to do with insecurity and the rule of law not being obeyed. These politicians are only interested in their own pockets. Why Tunumbu may dump APC soon shops for an alternative party. As the relationship between the leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, is for the rock, the embattled national leader of the party, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, is said to be considering his options in the party. Tinumbu, who, according to various reports, is not having smooth relationship with President Muhammad Buhari anymore, which is unconnected to the struggle for who takes over as the next president in 2020. As you heard, the president said, no one should use my name to get 2023, any politician at all. And a lot of people felt that's a subtle message down to, to Nimbu. Do not ride on my back or don't think I'm going to be part of this. And he said he's going to make sure that there is no corruption, there is no this and that, whatever it is during that election. The APC national leader and former governor of Lagos State, who many of his supporters claim that he has paid his dues and deserves no humiliation over his quest to succeed Mr. Buhari, is not finding it easy with the stiff resistance from other interested parties within APC who also wants to run in 2023. And it's so funny, one would think this position belongs to their father as if it's a monarchy like, you know what, once you drop, I'm coming in. Simply put, there is no election. That is it. When you go in there to vote, you are wasting your time because the polls, your votes do not count in the polls. That's just what it is. As these people think it's a, it's a kind of, a, it, it's, it's an anointing ground. The parties are simply like an anointing ground where you go in there and you are anointed and you are given the position to come in, loot and do whatever you like. So, already there are other potential candidates from the Southwest region being profiled for the number one job in Nigeria. Should APC ticket be zoned to the Southwest? Amongst them are ministers, Minister of Work and Housing, Mr. Babatode Fashola, AKT State Governor Dr. Kayode Fayemi, former Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Amosu, and Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo. A source who does not want his name in the print said that there is still an ample of time to reorganize team to move in another new or adopted political party. If APC will serve as a clog in their will, we will seek an alternative party and we are sure to take nothing less than 19 states along. That's their claim anyway, probably with their political talks and of course the brainwashed masses, people that have been disenfranchised. People that they've used hunger as a weapon. It's a shame. In fact, any politician that gives anybody a bag of rice should be put in jail. Do you know why they give bag of rice? That is because the normal social assistant that is supposed to run in a country where children are giving certain amounts of money. If you're a student, you get certain bursary. I'm not talking of the kind of bursary they give now or whatever kind of bursary that is not clear. We are talking about bursary that gets into your account and that's just it. That is how it's supposed to be, where widows, pensioners, single mothers, just like how it is done in countries where um, things are done in the right way, even though they themselves have corruption there, but at least they're able to put these things right. That is what it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, that is not what they do. So during the election, they bring just a drop of the billions of dollars that they've stolen and they hand over food to this Old women, you see them and some young men and women thugs that you've turned them to be because they lack the common sense to reason and demand for a better life. Anyway, you know, the drill, you know how it works, you know how they run the show. So they are thinking of a new party and they claim that they have um, 19 states that they are going to take along. Um, they are, claim that they form alliance with other stronger states and parties. Tunumbu was recently accused of seizing the APC membership register from the party in his bid to use it to hold the party to juggler 
um, owed them in their jugular, although it is not exactly clear why such allegation was made against him, but he has not refuted the allegation. Recently, some APC governors were on the move to convince Buhari to remove the embattled national chairman of the APC, Comrade Adams Oshoman. I don't like calling him any comrade because he has lost that comradeship. He was a, a man that claimed that he was going to fight as a labor man against all this corruption and tyranny, but now he's part of it. So they, they, they said the um, some governors gathered anyway to forcefully oust Adam Sushimale over his loyalty to the new faction of the party. But the plot was foiled by one of the northern governors, however, the unrelenting and determined anti Oshimale and not backing down. It was also learned that the main purpose of wanting to ask Oshomole to ask him out is to pave the way to East Tinubu out of the game ahead of the 2023 presidential primaries in APC. But the camp of Tinubu are not solely relying on the APC ticket. Already, they are looking for a party with considerable spread across the country to adopt. From our findings, they are considered one of the newly registered parties as an alternative party to adopt should APC fail to yield um, desired result. They believe that it won't all go well if Tinubu is disgraced out at the last minute, putting measures in place to switch before such would happen. Another challenge that may militate against Tinubu ambition uh, is the agitation for the southeastern Nigeria to produce a president after Buhari. However, Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasa El Rufai posited that APC will not follow zoning arrangement in 2023, that competence should be the yardstick for selecting a successor after Buhari. Northern youth group and leaders are also not backing down with the agitation that power must remain in the north after the exit of Buhari in 2023, although there are still rumors that Buhari may not be willing to hand over power come 2023. So we don't know what's going to happen next. But the president has swore to abide by the constitution, which only allows single term of four years and maximum of two terms of eight years. The fear of arm twisting national assembly would no longer suffice as long as the president abides by his word of not seeking a tenure extension extension but no one knows where his sentiment lies whether it would allow free and fair primaries within apc or give in to the threat from northern groups calling for retention of power or it will you know allow principle of fairness justice equity to take place by convincing the party to zone the ticket to the southeast nigeria Nigerians um, watch on as things shape out with other stronger parties like PDP, ADP, and others putting their arsenal in place ahead of 2023 general elections. And I think I would rather use the word selection as these people have nothing to offer anybody. They are only thinking about their pocket. They are only thinking about themselves. They care less about nobody. So it's it's a very distasteful, dirty, smelling, whatever you want to call it, evil click groups of people all out there that is what it is for now if you're not a member of this channel it's easy and it is free just tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell it will alert you whenever videos are uploaded and for those who are already a member of this channel i say a very big thank you for the support thanks for stopping by